what is up guys welcome back to the motorhead youtube channel so today we are working on my 1986 bmw e30 m3 and if you've seen the previous episodes you've seen that we did have some rear damage on this car and unfortunately there is some rust and also even this car was an accident which i didn't know about this but as you can see it was a very slight hit and it just like slightly dented in all this area but the repair was extremely shoddy and as you can see it's starting to rust through right here and then also inside it just wasn't done well welded back up but one of the biggest issues is right here all of this rust and then up inside here there's a whole bunch of rust so we're going to be chopping up my beautiful e30 m3 as you know we are doing a bare metal restoration on it and this body is extremely solid with very little damage on it so honestly i'm not even too worried about this the new rear tail panel is out for delivery so it's going to be here today so i'm going to go ahead and get started on removing this tail pan and we're going to get the new one in and start welding that in once that's in we can go ahead and finally epoxy the body we got everything else stripped down to the bare metal we epoxy primed it we did the body work and this is the final 2k primer so everything on the car is pretty much ready for paint besides the body and the bumpers, which the bumpers are just gonna be sanded down, primed, super easy. And then the body really doesn't have much body work. So super happy with how this car is coming out and it's coming out really quickly. Hopefully it'll be painted here soon in the next two weeks, I'm hoping. That means we gotta get this panel replaced and finish up this body, get it ready for epoxy primer. And then we can go ahead and straighten it out. I want this thing to be perfect. That way, once you look down it, it's complete glass just like our 1967 Ford Mustang restoration we've been doing. If you wanna see that, I'll link that down below. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We're gonna start tearing into this rear panel and getting it removed. Okay guys, so I got this piece off and the reason I drilled through is because I'm going to remove all of the seam sealer and because we don't have a spot welder, once I MIG weld this, we'll dress them up a little and seam seal the welds and you won't see them. And on the back, you won't see it at all because it's just going to be sanded down and primed and it's going to look OEM. It's going to look really nice. I went ahead and just left this lip here, as you can see, and we're going to have to figure something out here because this side was damaged and we need to treat all of this metal and figure out how to properly fix this. So not sure yet. I want to get the new piece in and see how it lines up and hopefully FedEx will be here soon with it and we can go ahead and put it on and button it up. So FedEx finally showed up and I went ahead and test fit the panel, which also this is a genuine OEM panel, super nice. And look at that, this side fits really good. The bottom, it just isn't clamped in, but it goes in there flush but this side we are having a little bit of a problem and I think it's because of this area here. We need to beat this out this way and get that bottom mass half to come out because as you can see, it's like that. So once we get that out, it should fix all of our issues here. As you can see, it's dented in. We need to straighten this out, make that look a whole lot better and then hopefully this will fit better. So I'm gonna take it off 
and start working this area and see what we can do to make this better. All right, just did my final test fit. Everything fits amazing. Guys, I'm gonna have to weld this up. I know originally there's supposed to be a seam here, which we could do, as you can see on this side, but this side is just so destroyed and it's all cracked up. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna clean this out. We got weld through primer all inside everywhere. That way we have no corrosion issues. And I'm just gonna clean all this up and just weld these seams up, just like I did on my replica build. And we'll just bondo it and it'll look good and it'll be strong so we won't have to worry about no issues and yeah so we're gonna go ahead and get the welder over here and start welding this piece in for good All right, guys, so I got it all welded in. Uh, it turned out really nice. Not the best welds, but I'm gonna be grinding them all down anyways. And as you can see, through here, it's all nice and welded up. And through here, it's all nice and welded up. It feels really good. So we are gonna go ahead and grind it all down. I went and bought a bunch of stuff. We'll use these flat discs right here. And then the belt sander up inside here to get this really nice. And then I also got some brushes and wire wheels to get us a nice little coat of seam sealer in here. And also the, what I was talking about earlier about welding it from the back, cause check this out guys. So this right here will just be sanded down and primed and it's gonna look beautiful as you can see. 
and it's gonna just look like spot welds. So I'm super happy how that turned out. And then we'll grind this down and put a little coat of seam sealer right there. And same on that side. And then we're gonna get some wire wheel, clean everything up really nicely and throw a fresh coat of seam sealer over everything, make it look super nice. Also this wreck damage turned out really nicely. I beat it out, got it to line up, welded it up. We're gonna grind this down and I need to weld up this whole couple little things still need to be welded. And then we'll throw a little skim coat of Bondo here right before the seam sealer and it's gonna look super good and a lot better than it did. As you saw earlier, it was smashed in. So super happy with all the results. Let's go ahead and start cleaning up all these welds. All right, guys, so we got it all seam sealed. It's looking really good, nice and sealed up. Everything looks good. So now we are ready. As you can see, this panel right here is prepped for the primer and I sand it all around the seam sealer. We're gonna let that dry, throw a heat lamp on it. And now it's time to go ahead and prep the whole body for epoxy. This is 80 grit right here. We need to go over it with 180 and we need to get all these edges right here really good. That way all of the primer adheres really nicely. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and get this thing prepped.
we have the M3 prepped. It's all taped up, ready for the epoxy. And one thing I picked up from CarQuest is this right here. This is some pre-treatment for the metal. And this is gonna ensure we have an even better adhesion. I really hate that I didn't use this on the body parts, but it's gonna be okay. We followed procedure on that. This right here is just extra insurance and we're gonna go ahead and use it on the car. Might as well, especially since this roof right here is going to be exposed to a lot of sun. So we're gonna go ahead and start doing this. And then once this is done, we'll let it flash because you have to ensure that it flashes and then we'll go ahead and throw down the epoxy. But man, guys, check it out. This thing is beautiful. I took this seam sealer off because I didn't like how it looked and it'll be better to apply it over a uh, cured epoxy. It'll be fine down there. But other than that, I love how this turned out. As you can see, there's no welds here. So once this gets primed, it's gonna look beautiful. Everything else looks absolutely amazing. We did all of the detail work. As you can see, all of this is sanded really nicely. There's no unsanded area here. It's all beautiful. And the epoxy is gonna roll around all these edges. Same underneath here, we got that all sanded. Got everything in here sanded all the way down to the bottom. It's sanded over there. And same thing over here, all of this is sanded. And a crazy thing is guys, over here on this cowl, there was a whole lot of Bondo. Like this whole cowl was just covered in Bondo. And it does have a little bit of damage, but it's nothing crazy. I don't know why they've decided to fill the entire cowl. I went ahead and stripped that. It's gonna be nice to put some epoxy, smooth it out and put Bondo over the epoxy and it's gonna turn out beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and start doing the pre-treatment, wait for it to flash and get this thing in epoxy primer. M3 is in epoxy primer. I'm just so happy guys. This is a crazy milestone. Finally, this thing is almost ready for paint. We're so close. The hood and the doors are ready for paint. This Victor is going to straighten out all the dents. We're going to put it in 2K primer and it's going to be ready, but we're going to give it time to cure. This thing's going to need like at least four days minimum 
to sit and just fully cure out. That way, once we sand it, it's good. Just like when we did the body work on the doors, we gave the primer plenty of time to dry. We gave the Bondo a complete day to dry because we want this to be done right. And we want it to last. I don't want no shrinking in the future. I want this thing to be straight for a super long time because if you do body work right, it will last. We actually had a guy come with a Bel Air, a Chevrolet 1956, and that thing was restored 20 years ago and it was perfectly straight and the shine was still there and he never did nothing to it but take care of it. And I t that's how I want this car to be and that's how it's gonna be. As you guys know, we did bare metal, crazy amount of work, but it's worth it because I'm gonna keep this car forever. If you guys like the content, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stick around. We got a lot more content coming and then also a lot of this stuff drops on Instagram days before the video. So if you want, you can follow us there. I'll link it down below. We appreciate all the love and support and thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.